Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to modify a old vintage radio cassette recorder which used to be a radio cassette recorder and now I'm going to modify it to be just a power amplifier. In this simple video, I will explain some steps that must be taken to modify and get a power amplifier that is of suspicion quality and can provide the satisfaction of listening to a sound that is comfortable to the ear. Let's just watch the video right away. I already made a video about this a few years ago. You can see the link in the description and then I try it until it reproduces the sound well enough. At the bottom of the PCB, there is this line, which is the part we want to cut. I put this aluminum ruler rod on bottom of PCB as a groove so that later when cutting the result are straight. To cut this I do not use a saw machine, just a manual hex saw. You see the result are straight, do not you? The next step is to unscrew the two bolts on the both end of the aluminum ruler. In order for the printed circuit board to look neat and more compact, I should desolder all unnecessary components located on this PCB. After the soldering, remove all components on the PCB, starting with capacitor, resistor, inductor, or switches. Then I see that are not needed using pliers. Sometimes I find some components are so difficult to remove that I have to re-solder the bottom of the PCB. If you have hobby with electronic, I am sure that you enjoy doing this. Using a piece of cotton mix with water and a little soap is very helpful for cleaning top of the PCB. Sound quality will be better if you use a coaxial cable or a small audio cable. Connecting the female RCA pin to input number 5 of the IC AN7164 after going through the coupling capacitor. Strip the audio cable, then twist it. Please maintain work safety. Be careful that your finger are injured by this knife. It is a good idea to use heat shrink to isolate the grounding to the signal wire. And don't forget to connect the jumper. This is grounding. Connect these two black cable to the AC in of the power amplifier mainboard. This voltage is approximately 18.5 volt AC. It is an optional to make a stand for the MP3 player. 
take a 2.5 mm solid wire that has been stripped off its the skin. Then bend it like I am doing this. It's all up to you which way cheaper you like. And I chose solid copper wire because it is very easy to bend and shape as desired. And also this copper is also rust proof. And I have no doubt to use this copper wire even though the body of the MP3 player is made of metal. And the heatsink of the integrated circuit IC power amplifier cooler conduct electricity but both are equally grounded. I think there is no problem even if it is connected directly by conduction. Solder on each back corner of this copper frame because this will strengthen the frame so it does not wobble. Without waiting long, we have this frame ready and immediately install it on the heatsink. We immediately place this tiny MP3 player on top of the frame. Please install RCA jack. 3.5 mm male stereo jack. Please install both left and right speaker cable on the terminal for this power amplifier main board. And finally install the DC jack. Last power button on. To beautify the appearance of the front panel I use orange tape. So far, what do you think about listening to the audio reproduced by Fintech Deep Deck Radio Cassette Recorder that has been modified into a power amplifier? Is the sound quality reproduced good enough? Leave your message in the comment column. I should respond and answer with pleasure. Thank you for watching. See you next time.